Hello once again, everybody. This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thank you for wanting to take the time to listen to what I have to say. And this video is going to be very important. It's going to basically move away the curtain so you could see that the monster is just a man behind the curtain. I'm going to expose the lie. I'm going to explain something that many people, including myself for the longest time, have assumed. And you know what happens when you assume. Now, there's an old saying that says, tell a lie long enough and it becomes the truth. So one of my subscribers, or at least I believe they are, was somebody, at least a viewer. So a shout out to uh, Talina Frost for coming up with this um, comment that she left. Because many people think this way, many people assume this way, and it's something we need to expose. So we're going to reveal the magic trick, the illusion, the lie. So please watch this with as many people as possible share this information, spread this out. Because once you know the truth, it's going to make things especially change for the better for us, the people, the live human beings, not the citizens. Because you don't want to be a citizen. I have videos explaining that. But it's going to make things a lot easier. So here we go. Uh, what Talina Frost said in a comment is what a lot of people have said in, a, in, a, in a, hundreds of comments, emails. Basically, they stay with thanking me for one of my videos, talking about, yeah, we need to uh, walk away from the system, but how do we do that when they, being the government, corporations, Vatican, etc., when they own everything? Well, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you're listening to this for the first time, I'm going to expose the lie and the trick, because once you understand the trick, it doesn't shock you anymore. Their magic goes away. Nobody owns anything. If you look up the following term, right of usage, basically what it means is you can possess many things on your time here on this third dimensional physical plane called Earth. So you can experience physical touch, you can experience physical love, you can care for things, you can create things, you can manifest things that were once ethereal. They go into your mind, it becomes a physical quote unquote thing, you create it, you had that experience. You can only do that on a third dimensional vib vibratory plane. So for whatever reason you chose to manifest here to experience this particular plane of existence. But you, when you die, when your body, your, your submarine dies, because it's just a vessel, can't take anything with you, can you? Now, of course, you can give it away, but that's all you can do. You can't take it to wherever you end up going. Whatever you believe or whatever the quote-unquote truth is, you can't take it with you. So nobody owns anything. Now, when you buy, for example, a car, they give you registration papers. Let's just say you decide you want to pay for it in cash because you don't want to pay any extra fees, any of the interest. So let's say, let's just assume the car is $20,000. You go to a car dealership and say, I'd like to buy that car, please. Here's $20,000 in fiat debt notes. We're not going to call them money because it's not money. And if you think the dollars in your wallet or pocketbook are money, please research and watch some of my other videos because that's another illusion that you can always learn. It's not money anymore. It hasn't been money since 1971. But that's a subject for another time. So let's just assume you slam down 20,000 fiat debt notes on the table and say, I want that car, please. Now, they'll hand you the car, of course. What will they also hand you? They hand you a title. Now, here's the best part of the lie being exposed. They didn't own that car. You think they do. You paid $20,000 not for the right of using that car. Because at any time, they can take it back. I mean, if you've ever seen somebody get arrested, what do they do? They confiscate everything. So even if you owned everything outright, they can take it. Well, at least we let them because we assume they can. But you've spent 20,000 fiat debt notes on a piece of paper. That is the lie. So when it comes to, for example, a mortgage, if you watch other videos of mine, you will learn that there is a whole lie all the way starting from the day you're born. Basically, in a nutshell, they create a corporation under your name because they take your DNA when you're born. They extract blood from the bottom of your foot, a.k.a. your soul of your foot, your soul. 
the in the blood has DNA, which is evidence that proves you are you because no two D stra um, DNA strands are ever alike. So it's the proof of who you are because you leave it there and just assume they're just extracting blood because they'll tell you whatever lie they've been told. Tell a lie long enough becomes the truth. You don't understand that in any kind of law that when you leave something behind and you do not claim it, it's considered abandoned property, which means anybody can take it and do anything they wish with it. If you have a doll and you leave that doll behind and you don't claim it and somebody finds it and decides they want to use it as a sex toy, well, it's their property now. They can do whatever they want with it. So your DNA basically is proof of who you are because any identification you have in your wallet slash pocketbook, can't that be copied? Can't somebody make a fake ID? Your signature, can't somebody forge it? Well, your blood, you can't forge DNA. I seriously doubt anybody that you know, including yourself, has a DNA machine that you can insert into your body or put blood on and determine who you are. So, got a little sidetracked. So when you have a government ID, you become property. They create a fictional character in your name. They create a trust account where very wealthy people put millions of dollars in your trust. They basically pay for everything you will ever do in your adult child life. Now, they make money off of this because, one, you don't know about it, and two, everything, every bill you pay, every loan you take out, every fine you send in the money for, every tax you pay goes towards interest that they accumulate over the lifetime of your trust account. So they make tons of money off of you, your collateral. So everything in your life has already been prepaid for. So you're paying for it again. And I've used this demonstration, so I'm doing this again only because there might be people that are listening to me here for the first time. If you and I are in separate cars, and let's just say uh, we're driving somewhere where there's a toll booth, and I'm the first car up and up ahead. And let's just say for argument's sake, the toll is $10. So I go to the toll booth. They say $10, please. So I hand them the $10. And then I say, you know what? I'm going to do something nice. My friend, see that car behind me? I'm going to pay for their toll. And I hand the toll booth guy another $10. And I continue on my way. Now, you didn't know I did that. And let's just say the toll booth guy decides to be dishonest. He pockets the extra $10. You drive up. The toll booth person says, $10, please. So you assume, well, you're supposed to pay for it. You didn't know I did, so you hand him $10. So now you technically paid for something that was already paid for because they didn't tell you. So that person was being dishonest. When it comes to mortgages, when it comes to taxes, when it comes to property in general, they don't own any of it. It's already been prepaid for in your individual trust account that you don't know about. And for those of you who say, oh, what do we do to get the money? Well, first of all, it shouldn't be about the money. Second of all, there is no actual physical dollars. There is no safe. If your name is John Doe, they don't have a little individual vault that says John Doe and has millions of dollars in it. It's all digital numbers that they use because can't you use digital numbers? You use them all the time. Look at your bank account. I'm sure you mostly nowadays go online and see your bank account. What do you see? Digital numbers. But they can use those digital numbers to actually buy physical, tangible assets. So let's go into a mortgage or AKA death pledge. Look up the old English term or Latin term for mortgage. It's actually called the death pledge. When you let's say you decide to buy a, a house outright, let's say that house is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You just you have lots of fiat debt notes, aka cash, and you say, you know what? I don't want a mortgage. I don't want to pay all that interest. I'll pay for it outright in cash, so I quote unquote own it. Well, when you give them that two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, what do they give you in return? They give you a title. So ladies and gentlemen, guess what you just bought? You gave them $250,000 or debt notes for a piece of paper because that's all they own. Now that's going to be shocking to a lot of people because guess what? You've been told all your life that banks own the property, banks own the mortgage. No, they own a title. They print out a piece of paper. They've told everybody that this is 
This means that it's it's proof of ownership for the house or the car or whatever. Tell a lie long enough, you believe it. So when it comes to how do we walk away when they own everything, ladies and gentlemen, they own nothing. The only reason that what they do has any credence is because, oh, well, they told us they own it, so I guess they do becomes the actual truth, your perception of truth, because you've been tricked. That is why when people try and get out of the system and know what's going on, there's not much they can do. Because, see, the whole game is to try and make you do something. They cannot physically force you to do something, although you'll see that on the news lots of times. They take advantage of this because when there's a few people, it's not much resistance against the military and the governments throughout the world. They can silence a bunch of people, even a couple of thousand. The illusion is getting people to volunteer their servitude because if you know, there are several levels of law. There's law of the land, like common law, for example. There is law of the sea. Admiralty law. There is a higher law that most people don't know about, which is canon law. Check the Vatican out for that one. And then there is the law that supersedes any and all laws, and that is natural law. We are part of natural law, where we have what's called free will. So we are allowed to do anything, including the right thing, the wrong thing, or nothing. You choose it. So here is their master plan. They are all fully aware that they could not make somebody do something, at least the masses. But they sure can trick you into doing it yourself. That is why, for example, if you take out your Constitution, Bill of Rights, things like that, you're not, you're, the Constitution of the United States. If you turn to the 13th Amendment, and I hope you have it, so if you don't, pause it. Now, the 13th Amendment was made December 6th, 1865. Now, I'm going to read exactly what it says. Now, people don't understand the meanings, but it says, neither slavery, now get this part, nor involuntary servitude, Accept this punishment for a crime. So what they're telling you is, if you commit a crime, you are no longer protected by the 13th Amendment. Whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States Corporation, or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Now, I've said that for a while, because remember, if, if you've watched more than one video, you know the word United States is a corporation. A corporation is nothing more than words on a piece of paper. Notice how everything always goes back to paper. Jur and then when it says, or place subject to their jurisdiction, what they do is on another piece of paper, they get you to check the box, are you a U.S. citizen? Well, if you check that box, well, guess what? You are now part of their jurisdiction in the 10 square mile radius of the country known as Washington, D.C. And that's why the 14th Amendment, which was created July 9th, 1868, they define citizen. They create the word citizen. So they made you believe the Civil War is about slavery, which unfortunately, when people think slavery, they think just African-American slaves, which of course, that did happen and that is a tragedy and it's sad, but all races and creeds have been slaves throughout the history of the world. But you're meant to think that way, so it makes you uncomfortable, it makes it a divide and conquer thing, they make you not want to talk about it, and when you don't talk about it, you don't learn from it. But they went from treating one group of people unfairly and cruelly and unjustly to getting everybody to cry out for the very thing they gave you, which is your civil rights, because that means you are a slave to their system. So they'll give you exactly what you want. That's why they put it in these amendments. But it's all an illusion because free will, they can't force you to do anything, but they can trick you. Now you say, well, what about the prisons and the jails and everything like that? Well, they're going against natural law. And because of the fact, again, that the people don't stop it, creates the illusion to be true that we're giving them the permission to say, oh, well, that's the police's job. That's the government's job. So we're 
volunteering our servitude. We're taking our free will and saying, okay, this is the movie that they're showing us. It must be true because it keeps happening and they keep telling us it's true. So when a cop comes and takes somebody out of their house, no one stops them. Maybe one or two people, maybe three or four people will do it, but then they'll just put it on the news, call you some criminal or terrorist or instigator, make up a whole bunch of lies. Everybody says, oh, we got to get that person. And you're feeding them the energy. But make no mistake, your mortgage that you're paying for, your death pledge, even if you've prepaid for it, finished paying for it, paid for it in cash, you own a piece of paper. So that's their scam. That's their lie. And they make governments and banks, the Vatican, they make trillions of dollars on your trust accounts that you don't know about. So it's not about trying to get the money out of the trust account because, like I said, it shouldn't be about the money and there is no money. So it's digital numbers. It should be exposing the lie because your electric bill, your mortgage, your taxes, your loans, your your whatever you're buying, everything's already been prepaid for. You're just paying for it again. So when people say, oh, you know, you're supposed to pay your mortgage. Well, that's because that's what you were told. You were told it from the very people who are profiting off of your trust and ignorance. But once you learn the trick, it's up to you guys what you do. Free will. You can sit here and say, oh, well, that was nice. Or, oh, this guy's crazy. And do nothing. Well, your free will is allowing them. You're consenting. Because another thing about law like, for example, this constitution, this this fake constitution that's been redone since the days of the American Revolution, it basically works because it's the cons from the consent of the governed. Now, if you know anything about law, consent could mean you agree with something, or consent can also mean you don't disagree. In other words, you say nothing. So that's the same as consenting in law. Whether you agree with it or not is irrelevant. You don't have to agree with a law for them to enforce it on you. But again, we allow it. We give them the power. That is why if you look, one of the first things in the Declaration of Independence is not we the citizens or we the government. It's we the people. So there is nothing to take back because they don't own anything unless you want all the pieces of paper that they've been selling everybody for all of these decades, centuries, millennia. This has been going on for a very long time, just now more than ever. So go look at your birth certificate. Go look at your mortgage. Go look at your title of your car. That's what you spent all of that money and continue to send payments for. They don't own anything. They can't own anything. If you know anything about religion and they talk about the Bible, well, when Adam and Eve was placed here, and whether that's a true thing or not, I'm not going to debate that here. That's for you and your own perception and belief system. But when, quote unquote, God made Adam and Eve, they didn't put up a toll booth or a tax shelter. They just let them free to roam the land to enjoy nature from what the creator or creators, whatever you believe, made for us. That's why everything you need to survive comes from this planet. The air that we breathe, the water to drink, the food to grow from the ground. Although now, the very people who are robbing us blind and giving us the false information and teaching us the lies are also the very same people that are approving what goes in your food. So when you get sick, they can sell you the medicines to not cure you because curing means you don't have a repeat customer, but they will treat you, which means you get to spend more money on things that will keep you sick, but not as sick or won't kill you, at least not right away. So now that people understand the illusion that you don't own anything and they are selling you not the land not the physical quote unquote item, but the piece of paper that they hand to you. It's up to you guys to dig in deeper, to challenge this, to do something. Until we do that, we are giving them permission to continue the lie.
because they're not going to all of a sudden grow a conscience and say, you know what? For thousands of years, people have been taking advantage and lying to people. I feel guilty. I want to tell you. Well, the ones that try and do that just happen to commit suicide. Like, for example, one of the bankers who supposedly committed suicide by shooting himself, I think, like 14 to 17 times with a nail gun. Yeah, that's believable. Or they get murdered. Or they get thrown in jail. Or they create some controversy where people will believe everything they hear on the television. So you can make any, any, any lie. News stations will tell you everything that you need to read because news stations, they don't report anymore. They read off of cue cards. That's why when there is a situation that they want out there, every station will be talking about the same exact thing. It's because they're owned and controlled by the very people who own and control all the other things because we allow them to. We could fix that anytime we want. And like I said it, in other videos, if you see the movie Wizard of Oz, and the end of the movie, basically, they go to the wonderful land of Oz, which is ruled by this evil monster. Remember when they asked him to go get the broom from the Wicked Witch? It was a, a head in flames. Very scary. That was the government. And the people of Oz were very scared and intimidated by this monster. Well, what happens ultimately in the end? What did they find out? There was no monster. It was just a man behind a curtain. And once the curtains revealed, all of a sudden, they went from frightened to death to all of a sudden realizing, wow, it's just an illusion. We gave it truth. We gave it power. Add fuel to a fire, it's going to continue to burn. You no longer put fuel in that fire, eventually it fades away. So when it comes to that great question, which many people have asked and many people will still fear, we don't have to walk away with fear that where do we go because they own everything. We now expose the illusion that the only thing they quote unquote own is pieces of paper. They've just told us that they own the mortgages, they own the banks, they own the land, they own your house, they own your car, they own you. How many people have contested it? Not enough. Consent of the governed. So when more, when millions of people say no more and expose the lie, Game is over. You don't have to pull one trigger. It's not about hurting people, because then we're no better than them. Pass this along, share it, research it, learn it. You now know the sewing the lady in half trick. When you're a child and you see them put a woman in a box, they cut it in half, spread it apart, and she's still alive. They put the box back together. She pops out whole. You're amazed. But when you learn, and spoiler alert, that there are two women, one in each section of the box, and one is hiding so you don't know, well, once you learn the truth to that trick, it no longer surprises you. So learn about this. It should make you mad that you're spending double on things that were already paid. You don't have to. You just feel that's your duty because that's what they tell you. They make you deal with the emotion. So when somebody comes along and says, oh, you don't have to pay your mortgage, you'd be like, oh, well, you're the reason why this country is in such debt and you're supposed to do that and you're stealing and that's why my taxes are so high. That's what they want you to believe. And you'll actually confirm their lie for them. You do the work for them. So those people that say stuff like that, the haters, the trolls, the ones that just are ignorant of the truth, you're helping the very system corrupt you. So to all of you out there who had enough fiat currency to purchase your house cash, congratulations. You spent that hundreds of thousands of dollars on a piece of paper. Bet that might anger you knowing that is the truth. You don't have to believe it. It doesn't change the truth. Just like if the air that's around you, you can't see it. You could never describe what an air molecule looks like. You don't know what it sounds like. You don't know what it tastes like. You don't even know where it is at any given moment. So you could sit there and say, well, with all that, I guess I, I don't really believe air exists. Well, is that stopping you from breathing it? Belief 
is irrelevant. Belief is part of the control system and the lie. Get somebody to believe something, they will manifest it to be true. Because in this world of illusion, where everything is light, all made of the same thing, held together through magnetism, you create the truth. That is your free will. So if you want to believe everything's scary and governments are out of reach and out of control and they're going to murder everybody and there's going to be death and destruction, well, eventually you'll create that truth, especially if many people and lots of people and maybe all the people believe it. But they can't get everybody. And the more people that wake up from the lie, the less power they have, and that scares them to death. So they're going to scare you to death. But you have to think of their illusion like watching a movie. It's just a movie. But if you believe it's scary enough to where you die of a heart attack, well, that's the price you have to pay for believing in their lie alone hard enough. So continue to do what you want. Keep paying your bills. Keep paying your taxes. Keep doing what you're told because you got to be that patriot, that American. They'll use your emotion to make you feel guilty or feel obligated because that's what you're supposed to do, right? If you want to pay twice for things, go right ahead. And unfortunately, most people still have to do it. Because like I said, if there's only a few people that have a problem with it, they can easily extinguish those kind of fires. You know, have a little fire in your house, like a garbage pail goes up, you can easily put that out. But if your entire house, everywhere around it, is in flames, that thing's burning to the ground. So we don't need to be violent. We just need to be united. That's up to you guys. I'm giving you the tools to learn the truth. What you do with it is totally up to you. So if you watch this long, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, just remember, it's a belief system. They'll trick you into believing anything because they tell a lie long enough it becomes the truth. So don't believe the lie anymore and change it. Create your own truth. We need to do that together. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video.